Good evening, and welcome to Views with Joyce Waddell. I want to thank you for joining us this evening. We're going to be talking with James Corey. He's a local musician. He plays well and teaches students how to play. And about, we're reminiscing as we go back many years ago. He played on this show, so we're having our anniversary now. Going back to that time years ago. <coughs> We're acquainted again, and I said to him, you gotta come back and see how things have changed. And so he's back. We're in Black History Month, February, and we're talking about many of the greats. We know that music was one of the things that really brought, was brought to life. The Harlem Renaissance, music from the jazz area. And so many of our greatest musicians paved the way for what the musicians today are doing. It's different, it was the big band area, and now things have changed. Do you remember the big bands? Um, I, yes, I do. Um, Duke Ellington? Duke Ellington, uh, I'm very Count young now. I was young. <laughs> and I was young. And that's, yeah, and yeah. that's what people, but when they went the, to but, dance, that's what they that's did. Right. Yeah, but I was inspired by those guys to, to play. I've always, from a little kid, I always wanted to play an instrument because I saw, saw someone play and saw the bands and the marching bands, and, but we don't see too much of that anymore. But yes, as a kid, I was inspired by the, by the big bands and by the musicians, the early musicians. And that was that relates really back to our black history. Yes. yes. And in school when we talked about studied black history and we talked about the great people right. who came before us. We thought about the great musicians. We thought about Duke Ellington. Yes. We don't see that kind of music anymore. No, we don't no. no. Count Basin. No. And now you see where you have digital things that can computerize. Yes, yes. And make um, some of the same sounds. Yeah, they, they come close, but um, there's you nothing. You know the difference, don't you? Oh, yes. There's nothing like the pure sound. You know, even when um, um, a lot of people that take, um, students that take piano lessons, well, it's, it's cheaper for parents to buy keyboards. And so they buy the keyboards, but they don't come close. It's, it's nothing like a piano or an acoustic piano or it's nothing like playing the saxophone. I, I can't ever find a keyboard that actually duplicate the sound of the saxophone that I, that I appreciate. Now you were in the marching band at Johnson C. Smith. Yes, I did. Yes, I, I love that. I enjoy that. And um, in fact, the marching band was something that really, really inspired me to do what I'm doing now. Um, my aunt lives in, in my hometown. My aunt lives near the, near the high school. And um, I would go to my aunt's house and the marching band would march past her house. The high and school marching band. Yeah, the high school marching band. You know, when they're practicing for parades and, and football games and they would march past her house and I would, oh my, I want to play, I want to play. Always wanted to play in the band. But um, never narrowed it down to an instrument, whatever instrument, you know, we, you know, as a kid you were blowing all of them. But um, saw, um, a, a, the band came to my school when I was in elementary school, and um, I caught sight of a saxophone, and that was it. I said, you, that like, is, you like that sound? I like the way it's, it looked it's, first. It's, yeah, it looked it looked very nice to me. A sax, and this is a saxophone. This is a, I, and I brought two saxophones, two different sides. But this is a soprano saxophone. This is straight. But um, in yeah. order to be good musicians, students have to start in fifth grade, don't they? Now in, in Charlotte Mecklenburg, they're starting in sixth grade, but. I, there are some private schools that, or some charter schools or whatever, they, they start kids in earlier grades, uh, fourth grade or fifth grade. And um, I, I think fifth grade is a good year. Um, but I, I, I do teach private lessons and I have taught some third, uh, third, third graders. And do they learn at third They grade? learn, they, believe it or not. Now um, how would it take them, how long would it take them just to learn how to play so that they can play a song and be a part of a group? It, it, it varies from individual to individual. I've seen somebody do it for 10 years and never mastered it. Right, that's what I'm saying, it varies. Does it happen? Yes. It does? <laughs> yes, I've been playing a long time. I haven't really mastered it. I have to practice. <laughs> but, um, um, but it varies from one person to the next, how long it's going to take before you could play well, why a song. Can some people master it after two years? Um, it's the t amount of time you spend with it, the approach that you take toward the instrument. And because of the love for it and, and the, the desire, yes, they yeah, really the want desire. it. Yes, yes. And so basically it's spending time with the instrument and um, um, practicing and learning. Which and is the most difficult instrument to play? The trumpet. Um, 
trumpet is hard, a saxophone is easy to play to produce a tone, but it's hard to play it in tune, you know. So that's why you don't see the saxophone in the symphony. Or if, if you notice, when you go to the symphony, you don't see the saxophone. This instrument you know, is very hard to play in tune. Um, um, the trumpet is more demanding as far as producing a tone, so it would, would, would be considered difficult. Um, I think an oboe is hard, you know, the schematics. You don't see that very much, do you? No, the oboe, no, no. It's a special person that plays the oboe. Um, but it, the schematic is different than the clarinet or the or the or the um the saxophone. And you're gonna play a song tonight. Right? I will play a song for you. I, That's I, so nice. Yes. And it's, yes. It's, it's it's Black History Month. Yes. And Valentine's I, I Month. Yes. And I do. Heart Month. Well, I, yes. <laughs> and um, yeah, the the and the saxophone is a romantic instrument, but I'm I'm not gonna play anything romantic. I'm gonna play a couple gospel tunes for you tonight. Okay, for the audience. Oh, for the audience. You That's know, right. they remember you from 20 years ago. Well, 20 years ago, believe it or not, I can't. I played steel drums. Another black, you know, <laughs> for, for another Black History um, program, and um, I was here with a steel drum band, and I and I played steel drums um, off and on for about 20 something years, and um, I was here you, with. And you taught students how to play that. Yes, the group that I was with well, ta ta taught taught for. Students that didn't catch on very well in Charlotte. They not, didn't not, have a lot of longevity. Right, right. Why? Um, I, I can't answer that. They, in um, Jamaica, they, they play it well, that, well, In Jamaica, that's part of the culture, or, or, or in Trinidad. And, you know, it's part of the culture, and here it's not. You know, and and they, couldn't keep, they couldn't keep the bands going here. Right, right. And um, it's, it's expensive to keep a group going. It, it requires space. You know, we're talking about steel drums. Um, but. Um, the drums require space because they got to. And it requires you space. You got to store them yes. somewhere, don't you? Yes, but yes, but I enjoy doing that, and I, and I, I did, it seemed like all of my life I did music, some type of music, and so. Um, but this is my first love, the saxophone, and so I, I, I got off of it from, for a long period of time and decided to get back on it, and I teach private lessons. I have professor, I have students, my ex students now. Um, um, they are adults I, now. They're, they're professionals, and I have um, some of my students, my private students, um, teachers, and. Um, That's a music. long time, isn't it? No, not really. I, I, you know, see, <laughs> I started, um, I think my, uh, I had one to, uh, music student to graduate from, I think, North Carolina Central in this past May. Did he play in the band there? He played in the band. He majored in music. Um, yeah, he and played several instruments. Um, I had an, uh, You were his mentor. Yes, I taught him, I thought I taught him from, this young man, I taught him from sixth grade all the way he, through high he, school. Well, he learned quickly, didn't he? He learned the saxophone and um, he learned all the instruments. He played the brass instruments all, as well when he went to West Charlotte. Well, he was interested. Yeah, yeah, he loved it, he loved music. Okay, you gonna play a song tonight? Yes, I, I will. Okay.
is it about music that you love so much? Um, I heard so I was talking to a young man um, this past week, and he says the healing power of music. And I said, yes, you know, that is right. It heals on a, on a sad day. I'm sad. I'm, I can pick up my saxophone and I can blow and I can blow my emotions through and play, you know. And so that's what I like most about music. It's, 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 it's hard to explain, but um, when the young man um, mentioned that, I said, yeah, it's the healing thing. It's, it heals me. You know, there, there was a gentleman, I heard him playing in the park. And, okay. And he was playing on the sidewalk. He would go uptown and play every day, and I invited him to come here. Okay to play. Mm -hmm. And he said he just loved doing it. Yes. yes. And he, he taught himself. Yes. Yeah. And you know, so he should have a different sound and a different... Uh, I, but, yeah. but ordinarily, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, we wouldn't know the difference. Right, right, right. But he taught himself mm -hmm. and, and he would go uptown and play. Just right. He's probably straight jazz, just straight jazz player. He, no, he plays all kinds. Okay. Everything. Okay. okay. And many people can play the piano and they play by air. Right just by sound, right, and right. so other people could never pick that up like that. Right. Yeah. So, so it's amazing how music comes to some people and how it's so difficult for others. It was always difficult for yes. me. Yeah. <laughs> I took piano for five years and never learned how to play. Yeah, it was just your approach to it, your attitude toward it. Yeah. I had very different, I had a different teacher almost every year, still yeah. never learned. Yeah. My sister, in one year, she was playing hymns. Oh, okay, yeah. Well. So, like I said, it, it, um, different people will take a different approach toward an instrument. Well, now that students are learning to play and they're majoring in music, either they're going to be a band director or what else would they do with a music major? Um, right now, the, the typical major um, um, career would be teaching. Um, um, other other kids. Uh, they aspiring. wouldn't be joining a big band anymore, would they? Not, not so much a big band. They probably would decide to be a, 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 a solo artist and play jazz. Um, I have a student that's doing that, ex-student that's doing and that. And he graduated and majored in music. Yes, yes. And, and, he, and he's a solo artist. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. And um, he works for he works for himself. He's, his, yeah, he's an he's entrepreneur. His, he's his own boss. That's right. He's so <laughs> he's all man. Um, but I was in, in a discussion. Um, a few weeks ago with a musician at my school and we were, we were talking about music therapy and so it's going back to the oh yeah yes. oh yeah so that, that, that's a feel yeah um, I think Queen's College has that program right yeah. I, I music, wasn't aware of that yeah, yeah. music therapy yes. well I know later that teaches and she went up to uh, Philadelphia okay. and studied music therapy mm -hmm. and right. then came back and, yes. and, okay. and was a professor there right. and taught music therapy yeah, very so good. that's a new feel yeah Mm -hmm. And you know, but the producers, um, a lot of musicians um, decided to be producers, and. Um, um, but you got to have so. your own creativity. You just when you, when you go yeah. into it, you start yeah. off with. Yeah, well, I, today when you, you mentioned the word creativity, I I think there is um, less creative juices now in the music that we hear now, in opposed to the greats that we listened to back um, 20 years ago. Um, because, you know, the computers, because of the computers and the, um, the keyboards that have... Um, um, they imitate all, the same sounds. Yeah, and they have recorded beats, recorded rhythms, recorded this, and so all uh, a young person do now, you know, they listen a lot and, and you know, for a while and then they choose the rhythm or choose sounds that... Even like the keyboards, it. electronic keyboards, they have the different oh, they have, beats. Oh, they have all the bells and whistles, yeah, some of everything, yes. Well, I was in one of the music stores and I saw where you could just buy it and it shows you how to play. Yes, The yes. fingers will move. Right, I had a student, um, um, and I, I teach in I teach in, um, in, in CMS. I teach in a, a middle school and high school right now, but middle school. And I, I had a student that taught himself to play the piano. He went to the computer and he saw how the notes drop down, like in a Guitar Hero. And he watched this thing, and for some for some reason, he taught himself to play the piano. And became a, a fantastic pianist. Yes, but, and, but, but I couldn't do it that way. He was self-taught through just watch it on the computer. Just watch, just watch it. He had a computer keyboard then. No, he had a, um, he watched his computer, a regular computer, and then he had a keyboard or a piano next to, or a keyboard. Next to and, it. And then he watched the notes fall, uh, it, it comes down and it hits the key on the, on the computer oh, screen. And he watched it and see, and then, 
for somehow he, he it connected. was synchronized to the keyboard right the computer the, yeah right i've seen where you can order yeah. it and now uh, you're going to play another song yeah i'm, I'm tra changing saxophones and i'll play another song okay this is the one that i, I know the one another gentleman that was Seth taught and he taught himself he, he wanted to learn it so bad yes and so he went to a uh, pawn shop and bought him one. A saxophone. Uh huh. A saxophone is e like I said. A saxophone is easy to, to produce a tone. It's one. Of, it's one. Of the, one of the newer instruments, and um, well, it's the newest instrument. And um, but it's it's easy to. Somebody um, told me the steel drum was the newest. Well, the steel drum is the newest, you know, but we don't really recognize. That's it as an instrument. Oh yeah, yeah. Steel it's not an instrument, is it? Steel drum is an instrument. Okay. A beautiful instrument, a handmade instrument, and, and it's black. You know, it's one of those instruments that is um, was um, created in Trinidad. But um, and it is the newest instrument. It's probably 60 years old, 67 years old. And most other instruments date back to the 1800s. Uh, or before. The saxophone was, um, dates back to about 1850, and um, the clarinet. You know, the clarinet's been out for centuries. You know. Yeah, and the trumpets. Yes, trumpets that's back big. in the gladiator days, the <laughs> trumpets, yes. Okay, so you're going to get ready for your next song. Yes.
Do you think that I could go to pawn shop and get me a sex phone? Sure you can, but you probably need, probably would need somebody who understands or know the instrument first, you know, make sure you won't get something that's not any good. But um, A so lot of them in there are no good. Yeah, they, they at the pawn shops. You know, the pawn shops, they, they have a lot of different instruments in, in different conditions and diff, n different name brands. And, but I, I do that often. People call me and say, hey, I see a saxophone. There's a saxophone at the pawn shop. So I would take my mouthpiece down and play it and say, okay, it's a good one. Oh, it's not so good, you know, and tell so them you about it. So you, you test it out and make sure it's good. Yes, I've done that for, for many people, yeah. Well, why is it at the pawn shop to start with? Um, money, people, you know, things at the pawn shop because people are in need for money, um, mainly for money. And they don't, and the person who receives the product, they don't care whether it can play good or not. <laughs> well, you mean the person who purchased one from the pawn shop? No, or, or the, person the dealer, the, the ones who sells it to you. Well, they have to they take the person know. words. You know, it, it's a trust thing, you know, but um, I, I saw uh, watching a video about Charlie Parker, and he would pawn his, as a greatest player that he was, um, he would pawn his saxophone for things that he needed, you know, and you know, come back later and get it. I'll come back later and it's not there. Yeah, I'll come back later if you wait too late, over 30 days, then somebody else can purchase it, you know. But um, it's, it's been done. I, I, I wouldn't do that, though. <laughs> and you enjoy teaching music, don't you? I enjoy teaching music. Um, funny story, this when I, when I went to college, and uh, at, at Johnson C. Smith, um, when after student teaching, um, but prior prior to prior to um, student teaching, student teaching, I went to the Marine Corps. Um, they went to boot camp for the summer, and they allowed me to come back to school. But when I came back to school, I had a different attitude. Everything was changed, and so student teaching, I, oh no, I couldn't do it. The Marine Corps had, you know, that, that aggression was in me, and so um, so I couldn't teach. But um, later, when I got older. <laughs> more settled and you know children and family I, I learned that I, um, right now I have really a, a lot of patience and and I work with people and students and yeah so I'm and everything I'm, changed your life everything changed. my life changed everything has changed well, I want to thank you so much for being with well, us yeah and for sharing your story yeah and audience I want to thank you too for being with us on views with yeah. Joyce Waddell yeah. I want you to tune in next week for another interesting program we are